and sweep to the night fisherman of the Gulf of Siam. While others sleep, the skipper watches with the alertness taught by seven years fishing. Song Wan started with one small boat alone, pioneered fishing in his village. Now he is owner of a boat, the 22-man crew, and the wealthiest man in that village. Song One used to sweat the night's catch along the jetty with help from no one. After seven years, others do the carrying and icing. And Song One has earned the right to choose the fattest fish before the rest are sent to market. The village where he grew up is a quiet place of maybe 600 houses. Being off the main road, Bang Soleil is a bit out of the way. Not the place to give much scope for enterprise. Everyone is pretty much alike. Usually the ones who get on are the ones who leave for the city. Yet in the restaurants of the village, the people of Bang Soleil now eat the fish caught by San Juan's enterprise. Twenty years of wedlock have not given children to the wife of San Juan. So she and her husband open their house and their affections to the children of his brothers. While Sang Wan eats the first meal of the day, the after breakfast Buddhist monks come to Sang Wan's house, as they do to all the houses of the village. And like the other women, Sang Wan's wife takes food to the monks who call at their door. While her husband sleeps his morning sleep, the first of the day. Song One's hand makes careless moves in the communal game at the village tree, but the hand that moves in business calculations is a careful one. Half his profits go to his brother and himself, half to the crew. During many of the daylight hours, mending keeps the crew busy. A shark's razor jaw slicing the net can slash the profits, leaving the crew with no more than their living wage of 35 to 70 cents a day. So they make the net strong. In common with all fishermen, Sang Wan likes to yarn. Their open chat conceals no secrets. Without reserve, each will tell where the fish are running. One or other may be a better fisherman, but they are fellow villagers, and the fish are for all men. However skillful he may be, whether he takes his boat five miles or fifteen into the Gulf of Siam, Sang Wan cannot always be sure of making a catch. So he fashions lures out of palm fronds. These, sunk sixty feet with stones, will always draw some fish to be collected on the homeward journey. <laughs> respect his knowledge. Piece by piece, they will hoard the money and the knowledge gleaned from each day's fishing. And so, each day before sunset, they will follow San Juan to the sea he knows. Come <laughs> on. 
Thank you. 